Hey guys, are you hungry? Hmm? Yeah, we're hungry. Where you been, lady? So the construction of this egg apron is pretty simple. You have just your basic apron, you have the ties here, and this is all one piece, and then you have the pockets for the chicken egg. What I like about this apron is that it's easy to make. It's maybe gonna be a 30, 45 minute project if you're a beginner, maybe a 15, 20 minute project if you're advanced. It's gonna be really, really fast. It's made out of cotton. Um, the egg pockets are cotton. The front and back are cotton, all of this is the same. And what's fun is you guys can use this as a scrap buster so you can get rid of all those scraps that you have in your shop. I would recommend having about one yard total for all your fabric, so including your pockets and your front and back of the, of the apron and then for this. But I mean, you guys can go through your stash and kind of find um, you know different pieces of fabric that you wanna use. The other thing is because it's cotton um, and it's all pre-wash fabric, it's really important that you pre-wash your fabric um, basically within most projects, like any project, it's good to pre-wash, which means wash on hot and then dry on hot so that if you're gonna be doing a project that it's gonna be getting used a lot, then it doesn't shrink on you. And this is an egg apron and anybody that has chickens will know when you collect the chicken eggs, they're not always clean. Sometimes they have poop on them. So um, it's gonna be nice because then I can throw this in the wash like once a week or just whenever it gets dirty or if a, a really brittle egg happens to break inside of this egg pocket, then I can just go ahead and throw it in the wash or give it a quick hand wash or whatever and throw it in the dryer with all my laundry and it's no big deal. Go ahead and go through all your fabric stash. You don't have to go to the store, especially right now, you know, we're trying to just go out for essential things. But if you have some fabric on hand, pick something that you really like. Today, I had these three on hand and I had a lot of yardage of them and I've been saving them for a fun project, so I thought I would just pick one. And I think today I'm gonna go with the purple. I really like that purple one. So there's three basic parts to this apron. There's the egg pockets, the apron itself, and then the strap. So first I'm gonna show you what you're gonna need for the egg pockets. Here I have four pieces that are all the same, and these measure 17 by four and a half. Then I have the actual apron, and I have two pieces here that measure 17 and a half by 14 and a half. And then the way that you need to do the strap can vary what I would do is take a loose measuring tape like this if you have one. If you don't, you guys can just kind of guesstimate and put something around your waist to measure it. But what I did is I just took this and I put it around my waist and I kind of stretched it out from my waist and measured how long I wanted it to be. I, I came up with anywhere between like 55 and 60 inches was about enough for me to go around where my belly button's at and be able to tie it into a bow. So I had just cut here two pieces extra that I'm gonna end up sewing together. So here's my other piece that I took from my yard of fabric. And I'm just gonna put the right sides together on these. I'm gonna sew along this and that will create one big long piece for my strap. And the width of the strap here is five inches. So go ahead and get a long piece, however long according to your waist, but just make sure that it's five inches across. So for the first part of your apron, you're gonna wanna construct the strap. So I have here my 55 inch by five inch width of fabric that I'm gonna use for my strap. And then I'm gonna grab my, my ironing board that I use here for the camera and I'm gonna lay this out. And then what you wanna do is grab one end first, lay it flat, and we're just gonna fold this over a half inch. So this should be the wrong side and this is the right side. And you're just gonna fold this over a half inch and you're gonna press. I like to give mine a little bit of steam. Okay. And then you're gonna go to the other end. And I'm just gonna show you guys real quick too that I had to sew two pieces of this fabric together to make this long strap. So however you need to do it, just make it work. And now we're at our other end. We're gonna fold this end over a half inch. And the reason we're doing this is because when we sew this all together and if it's gonna be getting washed a lot, you guys don't wanna have an unfinished edge, edge that has a bunch of uh, you know frizzies coming out. Okay, so then go back to your first end. Doesn't matter which end you start at. And all you're gonna do is fold this in half, like so. Okay, 
and you're just going to go along the whole the whole strap, the whole piece of fabric and fold it in half and then you're going to give it a nice press. Okay, we're almost to our end here. And when we get to the end, remember we folded this under a half inch and ironed it. We're gonna go ahead and go all the way. Just line up the corners. What I love about cotton is it doesn't give a lot of stretch. So, you know, if you're kind of like pulling and tugging on it, it just, I really like how everything lines up. So you can see here that now the two edges are lined up. So now let's go back to the very beginning where we started. And now we're gonna open this and you can see that there's a crease here where you're, you're half or you're, you know, where you folded it in half and then you pressed it. And so all you wanna do is now fold this in to meet that crease. You're gonna do that all the way to the end and then you're gonna flip it over and you're gonna do the other side. So we've come to our end. We're gonna give our last press. Okay, so then you're gonna go ahead and come all the way back to the beginning. And then you're gonna fold this again and line it up and just iron all the way down. completed this piece, you've given your last press, you're not going to sew this or do anything, we're going to set this aside as the very last step. Okay, for the second part of our construction of the apron, you should have your two apron pieces that measure 17 and a half by 14 and a half. Okay, so go ahead and what you're going to do is just take the two pretty sides, so you can see here that this is the, this is the non-pretty side and the pretty side, you're going to match these together. Okay, so go ahead and line these up. So, okay, and then you're going to take your pins and you're going to put a few pins in there. And then we're going to head to the sewing machine and we're going to sew three eighths of an inch from the top all the way down across the bottom and up the other side and when you start at the top and the bottom you're going to back back stitch and you're going to leave this opening here so don't stitch this we're just going to do three sides Okay, so now that we've sewed the three sides here and we've left the top open, we're gonna cut off our excess threads. And then we're gonna come down to the bottom corner. And we're just gonna cut a little bit of the excess off there so we don't have any bulk. And then open the top. And you're just gonna pull it through and you're gonna use your thumb and find the corner and then take your other finger and you're just gonna kinda push that out, okay? We're just trying to get a nice crisp corner there. And then take your thumb, find the other corner, push it through like this, okay? And then I just like to put my hands inside, I'm just gonna kinda flatten it out. And then again, we're gonna take our ironing board, we're gonna lay this down 
and give this a nice steam press. Part two of this apron is done, so go ahead and set that aside. So grab your pins again, and now we're gonna make the egg pockets. I would say this is probably the trickiest part, but after some <laughs> research and then just making a couple prototypes for myself, I was like, how do I make this really easy for advanced or even for beginner? You know, no matter what skill level you're at, or if you're just, you got scraps and you have chickens and now you wanna make an egg apron. And I, I just wanted it to be really non-intimidating because there's a lot of really beautiful um, patterns out there that you can buy on Etsy or find online. But I always like to just kind of make my own pattern in my head and write it so out. Go ahead and set two of those strips aside because let's look at our egg apron real quick. So this is the one I made. This was the prototype one that I made. And I actually made this one with three pleated pockets, right? And then I have one pocket here that is just not pleated because I wanted to try an egg and a non-pleated and see if that worked. The non-pleated pocket did work. I would recommend making it wider, you know, like four, maybe four inches. This is about three inches because you don't want this pocket to be so tight that you put the egg inside. And sometimes their shell isn't very uh, tough or isn't very hard and so it can crack. So I like to put a little bit of a pleat so when you drop the egg in there, um, it just gives it like kind of a nice little, little cozy spot to go. So on this apron, you can see how we kind of placed it out here. And so I've got two rows and I've got four spots. So I've got, I'm able to gather eight eggs, which I have probably, let's see how many chickens do we have now? We have eight chickens. And every day I go out there and there's roughly like anywhere from five to 10 eggs, eh, maybe like five to eight eggs. Um, so I just thought this is probably plenty. And if there's extra, you know, you always have your two hands, you can carry the extra, but I like to go out. I like to do my watering in the garden and take care of a few chores, feed the chickens. So it's just nice to not have to have all these eggs in my hand walking around the property, um, but just to be able to put them in here. So this is the basic idea of what we're gonna be doing. Okay, so the first thing you wanna do is you wanna grab two pieces here and you're gonna take the right side. So right side, wrong side. You're gonna take right sides and you're gonna put them together. Just line them up. And then here on the end, we're gonna leave like a two inch hole so that you can turn this inside out. So go ahead and pin all the way around and put two pins here just to remind yourself to leave a two inch hole. Okay, so now we're gonna take this bad boy to the sewing machine. We're gonna start here at our first pin and we're gonna do a back stitch. We're gonna go all the way around, pivoting at your corners, pivot here and then come back to here and you're gonna make a back stitch. Okay, so we're gonna do that and I'll see you guys in a second. Okay, so get your ironing board out again, lay these flat and give them a nice press. So now you've got your two egg pockets and the way we're gonna do this, we're gonna set one of these aside. And the way we wanna do this is we're gonna measure every two inches. So basically what I mean is an egg pocket before we pleat it is going to be four inches. You can see here, one, two, three, four, okay? And then one, two, three, four, 
one, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four. So that makes four pockets, okay? So what we wanna do is we want at every two inches, we're gonna make a mark. So I'm just gonna use a pen. I was unable to find my fabric pen. It mysteriously, maybe the borrowers have it, but it mysteriously disappeared. So I'm just gonna use a pen, which is fine. We're not gonna make a huge mark. And if you don't wanna use a pen, just get yourself a fabric marker that will erase. But I'm gonna come through here and make two marks. Like so. Okay. I'm gonna do that all the way down. Oops. All right, then what we wanna do is grab our pins and we're gonna go down to our first two inch mark that we've made here, see that little black dot? And what you wanna do is make a half inch pleat. So it's gonna end up being more, looking more of like a quarter inch once you get it pleated, but we're gonna take about a half inch. Don't get stressed out about this, okay? Just it, keep it really simple. It doesn't have to be perfect. So what I do is I just kinda eye it here. This is my two inch mark, I see my mark here. And I just grab it and I'm just gonna make just the tiniest of pleats, okay? ends up being about a half inch. And then I take a pin and I come through and I pin this and I come through on the other side and I pin the other side. Okay, so it should look like that. No big deal. If it's not like a perfecto half inch, it's not a big deal guys, don't stress. Okay, so then we come down here to our next two inch mark and we know that this is where the line is gonna be sewn. So it's gonna make our first pocket. Okay, so I'm gonna come down again, find the next two inches and I'm gonna eye it, tiny pleat. Hold it together with your fingers and pin. Okay, and then I know here we go. This is where it's gonna be sewn. Now I have two pockets. So I have my first pocket and I have my next pocket. So skip that one, come down to your next mark, eye it and make another pleat until you get all the way to the end. All right, so this is what you guys should have when you're finished, right? You've got all your pins in here. You'll be able to see your little black marks that you made. So this is where we're gonna sew. This is where we're gonna sew a straight line once we get to our machine. For fun, I'm gonna do this second pocket that we haven't pleated yet, and I'm gonna do a little bit of a close-up, give you guys some fun music so you can just kind of watch me do this and get a little bit more of a close-up. Now you have the egg pockets ready to go. Now you should have three different parts. You should have your egg pockets. You should have your apron portion that you sewed three sides around. And then you should also have the strap. Remember the strap is gonna be open here. Okay, so set your strap aside. Grab your apron. And I realize the way that I film this because I'm a one man show, it's a little bit like upside down for you guys, but for me, I'm putting my top, the top of my opening here. Okay, so grab your egg apron. And I realize that because I'm filming kind of upside down-ish, I guess you can say, I'm standing here, but my camera's over here. I'm calling this the top and I'm calling this the bottom. So for you guys, 
I'm gonna flip this around, okay? So now you have your bottom. And what I mean by bottom is when you sewed three sides around this apron, this is the opening here. So this is the part that's left open and it's unfinished. So go ahead and lay that out. And then what you wanna do is now you're gonna take your pocket and you're gonna decide where you wanna have this on your apron. So I, you know, you can kinda get exact and do some measuring, but I just laid mine on there and just kinda eyed it. So I'm gonna just lay it here and you can kinda play around with, with uh, how you know how you want it to look. So I'm gonna say that looks about good, okay? So now I'm gonna grab my pins and the way I'm gonna sew first is I'm gonna sew from the start here and I'm gonna backstitch really well so that when this gets washed and you have eggs going in and out, um, it doesn't come apart. So I'm gonna start here and backstitch and I'm gonna stitch all the way down, lift my presser foot but leave the needle down. I'm gonna sew all the way across, do the same in this corner. And then when I get here, I'm just gonna do a backstitch, okay? And then once I'm done with that, I'm gonna lift my presser foot and my needle and I'm just, I'll show you all this on the machine, but I'm just gonna slide this over and here we have our little two inch mark, okay? And if you want, you could take your, your marker, your fabric marker, and make yourself a line so that you can see it much better, okay? But I'm just gonna kinda eye it, and you guys will see. I'll, I'll make sure I get a good camera angle for you. And then same thing for this one. You're gonna, you're gonna stitch here, go all the way down, go across, and then up, and then back stitch. And I'm gonna pin these down to the apron so that I can do this all at the same time and it doesn't move around on me. Okay, so we've got it all pinned and now let's head over to the sewing machine. Okay guys, so now that we're at our sewing machine, I'm gonna get my apron up to the sewing machine. And remember, this is our top here. This is, when I say top, I mean the side that's not sewn and it's open. Okay, and I'm gonna get up to my first egg pocket piece and I'm gonna backstitch and sew all the way around. All right, so now that I've gotten to the back stitch on the first pocket, so this first pocket I started here, I back stitch, I sewed all the way around, and now I've ended here. Now what I wanna do is I wanna lift my needle, lift my presser foot, and I'm not gonna cut the strings. I'm just gonna slide this over gently. And I can see here that the black mark, remember every two inches we made a black mark, and I can see my black mark here. So I'm just gonna come down to the bottom. Like I said, you guys can take a fabric pen, and you can kind of draw a, a fabric pen here that erases so that you've got a line and you can follow it, but it's really not that far to go to make a straight line. So I just kind of eye it, I can see my black line, and I'm gonna make a line here, okay? Give it a back stitch. So all the way down, back stitch again. Okay, lift your needle, lift your presser foot, and again, come down to your next mark. Okay, so here's my two inch mark, back stitch. Back stitch again, lift the needle, oops, lift the needle, lift the presser foot. Okay, so let me show you guys this. Okay, so this is where we started. We backstitched, we went all the way around here, our egg pocket, till we got to the top, we backstitched again. And you can see our strings hanging here because we came all the way across. So it's that simple. So now we have a stitch down the middle and now we have our little egg pocket. So we can go ahead and take these pins out. Okay, you should have four of them. All right. And now check that out. 
So the first one we're going to cut all of our strings off, of course, but now we've got these four cute little pockets. So let's go ahead and bring this up to the machine and we're going to start on our second layer and I'll just let you guys enjoy. Okay, cool, so we've got the egg pockets now attached to the apron. So what we're gonna do next is attach our strap. So let's go ahead and grab our strap. Okay, so what we wanna do is we wanna grab one end. And remember, we didn't finish this, we didn't sew it. We just left it open. And remember, we folded it in twice, and it made this really nice uh, uh, finished strap, you know, with finished edges, but we left it open. So what we wanna do is make sure that our, our egg apron has the top, which is our side that we left open, right? So here's the wrong sides. And we're gonna lay that down, and we're gonna take our strap and bring the two ends together, because we wanna find the center. So put your two ends together like this. Pull it tight. And now I know here I've got my center. So I'm gonna go ahead and just place a pin right there in the center so that I know where it's at. Okay, and then I'm gonna lay this with the open side here, the open side of our strap. I'm gonna lay it up here on the top. Okay, so this is the open side right there. So the open side should be right up against where our open side is on the apron. And I can see here in the middle where my pin's at. And then I'm just gonna open this. Now that I kind of know where the middle's at, I've got it. Got it here with my finger. I'm just gonna kind of eye this and find the middle. Again, you guys can measure, but I'm all about making this really easy. And it's not rocket science. And then I just kind of open this and I place that inside, okay? And I do the same thing on the whole apron. So basically what you're doing is you're encasing this apron inside of here so that when you go through and you sew this strap, it's all finished and it's really nice and complete. So then grab your pins. So now my top of my, my apron is all the way up here. It's all the way to the top. And I'm grabbing all layers. I'm grabbing the apron layer inside. I'm grabbing the back of this strap and the top of this strap. Let's go ahead and do that all the way across. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to the machine. This is the last part, guys. This is the last time you're gonna use the sewing machine and then you guys have your very own egg apron. Pretty cool, right? So come here to the end and this is where we're gonna start sewing. So if we were to open this up, we'd see here that this is where it's open, this is where it's closed. We're gonna go into the sewing machine and we're gonna start here on the corner. We're gonna give it a nice good back stitch because we want that to be really strong. We're gonna come down to this corner we're gonna pivot, right? We're gonna lift our presser foot, leave our needle down, we're gonna pivot. We're gonna sew all the way along this strap, okay? And then when we hit the apron, it'll be about right here, and it'll catch this whole thing and continue all the way to the other end. Okay, so let's go ahead and do that. We're gonna use maybe like a quarter of an inch away from this strap, that way it's nice and tight and we don't have a lot of flap here. So the opening, the opening of this strap should be facing you when you start.
So when you get to your apron, here's the inside of the apron, here's the pockets. I like to just kind of fold this over so that it's not like all bunched up and crazy right here and in my way. You can even fold it again if you want. Okay, here we go. You did it guys. Here's your completed egg apron. Come to the ends here where we just stitched. Get rid of those threads. Awesome, so here it is all completed. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight pockets for your eggs. A nice strap to fit around your waist. I hope that you guys really enjoyed this tutorial and I hope that you're excited to make your own chicken egg apron if you have chickens. Um, send me a picture on Instagram. I'd love to see what you guys have made. And if you enjoyed this video, please hit the subscribe button and give me a like and even leave a comment if there's something else that you guys wanna see. I hope that you enjoy this footage of me feeding my chickens tonight in this cute little egg apron. See you on the next tutorial. Bye.